Hello my amazing artists. Today we are starting our color wheel project. Today you're going to need a paper plate, a cup of water, a big piece of paper, a paint tray, yours will be a little cleaner than mine, a piece of wax paper, and paintbrush. So we're going to start with just our paper and our plate. So our plate is going to go in the middle of our paper, as much in the middle as we can get. Then I'm going to hold it with one hand and with a pencil or with a Sharpie, I'm going to trace around my paper plate. And my pencil is staying right up, touching the edge of my plate. I'm going to go under my arm, come around, and once I've touched back where I've started, I can stop and move my plate. Ta-da! Now, um, you could use a ruler for this if you want to, or you could just kind of guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from the top all the way down to the bottom of my circle in the middle. So I'm going to just very lightly draw that line. I like how it looks, so I'm going to draw a little bit stronger so you can see it a little clearer. Pressing a little more. All right, good. So I like that line down the middle. Now. I'm going to draw two more lines and they're going to be diagonal. So if I wanted to, so we drew a vertical line, right? This is vertical. That would be horizontal. I need to make it diagonal. So I'm going to make a diagonal line from this corner right up here in this corner, this part of the circle, all the way down to right there. So I've got this kind of weird symbol. Then I'm going to draw another one from the middle of this across and over. Ta-da! So now I have a pizza, <laughs> really, or a pie cut up into six different parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if it helps, you can see that I made an X, right? So I made that big wide X. And they're all about the same size. They don't have to be perfect. Next thing you have to do is to start coloring. So we're coloring with paint today. So what I'm going to do is I only have three colors. I have the primary colors today, red, yellow, and blue. So to make my color wheel, I need to put it in rainbow order. So um, just so you get an idea of what colors go where, you could use your crayons or your markers to just make a little mark, or you could just write the word. Um, next to the slice of pie, right? So for example, I know I want red to be up here. So I'm gonna write the word red. That's sort of red. <laughs> so I've got red right here. And then I'm gonna do the next color in the rainbow, which is orange. So I'm gonna write orange. Then after orange comes yellow, and we're gonna go all the way around. So let me do that really quick. Okay, so I have made all of my labels. So I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So it goes around in a rainbow. So now I know where to put my colors. I can start with red, so I'm gonna take a little bit of red on my paintbrush. I'm gonna fill this whole piece of pie in with my red paint. Now you wanna be very careful because you're gonna try really hard not to go into those other pieces of pie, right? We don't want our red in our orange spot. This is a color wheel, so we're organizing our colors as best as we can. So once I've filled this in with my red, obviously you will do a better job than I am right now, I'm gonna take my wax paper and start making my next color, which is orange. So to make orange, what two colors do I need? I need red and I need yellow. So I'm gonna take some red and I'm gonna put it on my wax paper. I'm using my paintbrush like a shovel just to scoop it up and put it on my wax paper. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush really good because I don't want red in my yellow paint, right? Not at all. So I'm taking that yellow now and I'm gonna mix it with my red. See what color it makes. Mixing, mixing, nice. Once I'm happy with that orange, maybe I wanna add some more yellow or red. I think I like how it looks though. I'm gonna move my wax paper and I'm gonna paint this section orange. So you guys are gonna go through this process and you're gonna paint all the different sections. If you wanna start with the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, 
and then mix the secondary colors, that's great too. Um, however you wanna do it is fine as long as you're mixing up those secondary colors on your wax paper and then um, painting them in the spots that they go. All right, guys, once you're all done, make sure you put it on the drying rack, okay? And I'm gonna finish up this little spot right here so it touches that line because we want uh, zero white spaces, right? We want um, to have the colors kind of touch. So you see that? Okay. All right, guys, here we go.